Let's check out the latest trends that Alpine Cycles has going on. So it has been quite a journey, I heard. It's uh, 43 years in downtown Port Huron. Yeah. Since 1981 on the same corner, uh, my brother and I started the business in 81. I actually started working on this corner in 1976 for uh, my mentor Larry Kraybach and his uh, wife Wendy. I kept bugging them and bugging them until they finally gave me a job at the ski shop, starting the ski shop. Unfortunately a recession hit and they went out of business, uh, but my brother and I turned around and, and started a business uh, here. He had just bought a little bicycle shop the year before and I wanted to keep going with the uh, with the ski shop so well we bought the building and uh, started the business it was kind of kind of rough the first few years but uh, you know lo and behold we're here 43 years later well I'm sure you've seen a lot of changes like economic changes even like the different products that you guys have uh, we've been through three recessions up and down you know so you you learn to adapt uh, we have a real thriving skateboard community here uh, we just uh, dedicated uh, a brand new $850,000 poured concrete skate park uh, that we've been dreaming about for years. And it, it is just a wonderful skate park that's really bringing people in from all over. And let's talk about that because there was a huge fundraising effort to, because it was a, was a matching grant, right? Matching grant. Like for $850,000, that's a lot of money. Uh, I know you guys were instrumental in like getting that fundraising going and help parks and recreation. Yeah, our, our part of it was getting the grassroots people involved in it. Um, the, the city uh, was very instrumental in getting the Tony Hawk Foundation and the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation finally uh, got built and we're in our second year of it and we're very excited about that. I love the uh, the classes that you're hosting there as well. So now, yeah. like, you know, we already have like this advocate uh, community for this sport, but now also like we're raising like the young ones to to like it as well so cool yeah, it is awesome yeah. very nice so all right so now i mean you have a very large storefront with all kinds of products i mean anywhere from ski to skate to bikes what else am i missing uh those are the main ones <laughs> yeah what is what is the what is the product that you sell the most uh well bicycle the whole bicycle side is is our our main uh our main business right now, you know, we're selling a lot of e-bikes. When e-bikes first started getting popular, uh, we embraced e-bikes. So we're one of the largest e-bike uh, retailers in Southeast Michigan. I have people coming from all over, from Flint, Saginaw, Downriver, uh, because we av advocate them and we stock them and you can come test ride them and, and check out all the different models. Is that what I should be test driving today? That is what you should be test driving today because <laughs> it will put a big old smile on your face for sure. Oh my gosh. All right. I feel like I have to do it. You I have mean, to do that'll, it. Be, that'll be my first time on an e bike. Oh, you'll love it. <laughs> Which one of these electric bikes should I test drive? I think we should test ride this one right here. Let's do it. That is actually pretty incredible. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. So if more folks want to hear about Alpine Cycles and actually get their own e-bike and any sort of sporting goods, how should they learn about you, Kurt? Alpinecycles.biz, .biz, uh, Facebook, Instagram, any kind of social media, we're pretty much out there. Uh, always stop into the shop. Uh, test rides are encouraged so you can find out what's best for you. Um, all you right need to do is here. take a test ride. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll be sold. Yeah. Uh, stick around with us as we go around town in downtown Port Huron and learn everything that downtown businesses have to offer. Until, until next time.